access. Uh, if there could be a uh, just an info slide put up there that people could go <coughs> to that other site to see the pictures. Info things. slide to go to the town mm -hmm. hall website. Okay. Mark, outside of pictures, do we have uh, building plans? The layout of the building? Of the new building? Of the, yes. Um, we have a, um, a mock up of what our suggested, well, it was a, um, you know, this is all done gratis because we haven't yeah. got the funding yet to get to the architect. It's a concept to, to lay out. So it's a co concept. It's, it's what's possible. With, you know, the two, first two thirds of the building, upstairs and downstairs, are built out as office space, Class A office space. Um, and then the back is, is, is warehouse where we would put evidence lockup, an armory uh, for proper lockup um, of our weapons and, and, and artillery, and, um, and also holding cells. Um, the thought is to, for this the $6 million, 2.775 is for the building. Then there'd be money for an architect. Um, and there's been talk about Im immediately moving the police <coughs> over because at least they could move over. It's, it wouldn't be a perfect scenario, but get them out of where they are now because I gotta put them somewhere else as soon as possible for health and safety reasons. Use the architect, use the money, 100,000 or so, whatever an architect costs, to to do the rest of the building, put a vision committee together. Um, we used to call them vision committees, it would be a town building committee, but with Board of Finance, Board of Selectmen, Police Commission, citizens at large, um, and the town <coughs> committee members together to come up with a list of priorities and, 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 and best case scenario for the building. And then uh, there has been talk, with, uh, working with the chairman of the Board of Finance who is here, he's not here now, talking about how we would release the rest of that money, which is about $3 million worth. Um, so the half the money would be released through another appropriation process. Come back to the Board of Selectmen, Board of Finance, and <coughs> maybe town meeting, but at least those two. Again, the money's already appropriated, so we're trying to figure out the legal side of it. But we, will, um, we have a mock-up now of that that I think is on the town website. Paul, do you recall I, Mike Mines is gone. I don't know if it's on there, and if it is, then I'll yeah. get it on there. Yeah, and, and uh, if we have access to it, I'd, I'd like to see. Yeah. Not, not, uh, yeah. not just the the, uh, the rendition, but the existing uh, yeah. Yeah. drawings of the existing building. Just we have both. Do you have both? Ones? I have both. Oh, so um, I can get those to okay. you. Um, remind me to do that. But I think to, to post it um, up is, would be good as well. And I think we should be able to get in there once Honeywell is, um, is vacated the property. We should be able to open that up on a, on a well-publicized Saturday afternoon and have people tour the building and see the quality that's there and the opportunity that exists. Other comments? Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, no, I, 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 it was brought up about the, uh, the work that's going to be done to Route 156 to elevate the, uh, the road uh, down near Four Mile River. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I, I'm, I'm hoping that at one of the presentations, uh, if we can have some sense of the elevation uh, as it will approach where that building sits. Uh, because it's very important for, uh, I think, for us to know when we're making the decision, uh, you know, you have uh, a scenario where you have police officers rushing out of that facility onto Route 156, uh, what is their visibility going to be in both directions uh, if they're trying to merge into traffic rapidly? And so I think the elevation of that road, what, the final elevation of that road after that work is done, I think that's going to be an important thing to know. And I'd like to, if we can get some of that information from uh, the <coughs> state of Connecticut, I think we should have it. Okay, I've had one meeting with them. They've gone back to the drawing board to, um, they were going to, full story, they were going to close that section of the road and shut that bridge off and say, everybody that needs to get from East Lime to Old Lime have to go out on the highway and come back and around. And we went, have you, have you seen your highway, DOT? Uh, that's not going to be a, a scenario that, is acceptable. So now they're talking about how do we keep one lane open and do some alternating traffic at least as they raise the road bend. 
I'm not sure if I can get you like um, what the um, sight lines will be. Right, yet that's on what that. I was getting at. Uh, and I know that's what you're getting at. Um, and I don't, I've been in and out of that building a, a little bit. I mean, there's, there's a little bit of that. Um, right. and there's, there's more um, urban legend than there is fact. I mean, I've, I've pulled out of there without incident plenty of times. Um, and uh, especially looking to the right, it's, it's a clear shot. Looking to the left, going up to Divine, Divine Wine, um, people can be cruising over the hill. Um, That's my concern. But they are police cars with blue lights, and um, I don't. And we can ask if there's ever been a major accident coming out of that driveway as well. I, I think it's something to be aware yeah. of. Yeah. And I think if you, you know, anyone that's been to the site and pulled out, at least for me, uh, that 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 occurred to me that that could be an issue. Would mm -hmm. be responding in an emergency and. You're, you know, you're jacked up because you're heading off to a, a situation, um, and someone's okay. coming over that ridge. I, I I don't know if there's some way that we can reduce that ridge. Maybe one of those those round mirrors that you put up. What you could also <laughs> do it right way so you can see. You could also have it to the point where you have a, a light. control signal that right. flashes something like, like coming out of a fire station. Right. Not mm -hmm. just for someone routinely coming out, but if you're coming out there for a call. I, t I think it's something that can be no. solved, but something yeah. that we need to address. Sightline, uh, we'll certainly take a look at that and, um, yeah, answer, answer that. You mentioned the elevation, too. The building is not in a flood zone. It's, it's surrounded by coastal conditions. We live in a coastal town. Um, the um, Four Mile River is on the property. So the property, the, the building is up on top of the hill, and the building, the, the land does slope down to the Four Mile River. People have talked about a public launch area for um, kayaks, um, since it will be public land. Um, and that is a scenario we've, we've considered for that land, um, way down to the west, southwest of that property. Um, the, when the bridge is redone, it, it will make for a better launch because it will actually be an arched bridge with flowing water. Uh, right now, with this culverts that does do limit the, the passing of water, which causes that area to, could cause that area to flood. I don't recall, I don't know what, how long ago there was a flood there. Um, uh, and it must may have occurred. Uh, I'm not doubting that. There is gonna be an access to the back, which will remain on high land, uh, not in flood, not in the flood uh, plain. The property immediately behind the, t the police station proposed is, um, is being developed um, as an affordable housing complex um, with required access to Capitol Drive. So they're required to go to Capitol Drive um, and we would use that access since it's, it's, it's emergency vehicle access that's required there. Um, if that project stalls and right now it's being proposed and they're going out for bid but should it stall we would put the access road in there um, because it is it's important, it's, important. Um, it's for emergency purposes so we have every uh, ability to go in and do that and that was all figured as part of the six million dollars as part of the cost of the project um, and it won't happen immediately it won't be done on May 30th when when we close papers on the on the property um, by contract other questions what things have come up Look good so far yeah I think so like I said I hear hearing location and I think a good explanation is to what that facility would look like and it might not be a bad idea to show what our current police department looks like in comparison not a brand new state of the art I wouldn't go to you know, some place where it's brand new, but just uh, what other police departments look like as far as, you know, uh, you know safety, security, and uh, the layout and so forth like that. Because, and one of the things we haven't talked about too is as time goes on, uh, the cost with uh, Waterford is not going to go down, it's going to go up, right. and so forth like that. And right now, with the crime we had a couple of weeks ago with the uh, incident up at the Starlight Motel, we've used pretty much all their evidence storage for a little bit because you have to do some things and when you do that so uh, 
you know, those are things that we also have to think about as well. I'm glad you brought that. There's going to be an increased cost of doing business with Waterford. You know, we're paying fifty thousand dollars a year, uh, and it was a temporary situation. Uh, that 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 fee will rise in time um, um, as we're using more and more of their space and um, resources as well. And we've one of the things is we've already put over a hundred thousand dollars into the building on Main Street right now just to try to maintain it as best as possible and that's not going to get any cheaper over the next few years if we need to if we have to stay there other questions comments just just a few comments um reuse of the property downtown is of interest to me so uh, we you talked about that but i'm definitely interested in that uh, maybe a review You're interested of this. in buying it no 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 no, no. <laughs> reuse reuse uh, okay. for downtown you know um, downtown's come a long way it's it's that 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 could be a key key piece it's piece a key, property, it's a key piece of property to, to, absolutely to to uh, continue our thriving downtown so i think that's a good thing I just a little more detail you touch on that i think that would be good for the public um timelines are interesting i you know um the property at first i you know it seems far away i live up there flanders four corners but I, going the speed limit i tried i get there faster than i can get downtown that mm -hmm. was actually a little surprising to me but uh people should try Try that; it's surprising. But I think you're, you're Kevin. Talked. The police are out on the road. This isn't a fire department. And the only other thing I'll say is, uh, you know, I've been to the police department, and back when we were doing the um, looking to go independent, I, I was able to go talk to the chief of police up in Ledger to talk about their their independent police department, and it was quite striking how embarrassing our poli police department was. I went back to go see it, and it's it's insufficient. Um, I just wish people could go see. Our police department that we got down there now, and then go to see what a what a up to date modern police station looks like up in Ledger. We're not going to be able to do that, but it's a big difference. Um, it's kind of embarrassing what our guys have to to work in right now. So it's beyond embarrassing. It's unacceptable. It is for yeah. a town. It is uh, for a matter of town pride and health and safety of our workers mm -hmm. in this town. Mm -hmm. So. That's all. Yeah, Those thank you. I, you know, so one, I think one other yes, thing to address is people's concern about why why the immediacy of this. This seems to have come up so fast. Well, we didn't know this was going to be available three years ago, two Correct. years ago. Yeah. So it's an opportunity. Maybe it's maybe it's not the right opportunity, but it's an opportunity to present to the townspeople, and that's our job. Right. Yes, ma'am. The um, yeah, option B is to uh, go to the you know the next best location and build it out of the ground for ten or twelve million dollars. That's option B. Um, and put our police temporarily somewhere else. So that, uh, that takes time because I'm not. Yeah. You can't put more money into a building that is is not the right size. It's 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 not the right location. Um, um, in its proximity to Millstone, in the in the in the, um, the protection circle around Millstone, um, and all that, um, and, and, and the parking lot's not big enough. The whole thing, the whole piece of property. You know, there, there, uh, people have talked about the immediacy, and, and, and also part of that. And I, I want to just put on the record that um, this is a different type of sale than this is a different type of proposal than the last police building proposal, which was sit around a table and what's our wish list and what would you come up with and and uh, out of the ground how much would it be where would you put it and, and have all sorts of task force and all that um, that was years of planning and um, same with the school okay if we were going to rebuild the school or do something with our schools our, our, our elementary schools what would the, <laughs> they had a wish list it was 105 million dollars to build a couple new schools and that uh, turned out to be a $38 million renovation of three schools uh, in the end. And we don't have that, we didn't have that luxury in that we were negotiating this building for the last year. We had um, executive sessions through the police commission that we talked about, would this work? Let's tour the building. Let's look at it. Let's look at it from all sorts of different perspectives and angles. Um, when we finally were able to strike a deal, we went public within, I think, a couple days. 
um, uh, literally in this room we went public and then started talking about it uh, we had task force members working independently up until that moment and then we started meeting as a group um, it is different and I know there's been discussion about well there's been secret meetings and all that well it's a negotiated building of a building that's already existing that we want to renovate it's different than the school buildings that took five years to get to <coughs> approval uh, it's different than the failed referendum that we had 11 years ago it's been it's been 11 years since we had a proposal on the table to move these police into proper a proper and permanent solution to the problem. Um, so it's different, uh, and I, I, I did want to point that out. Um, location, uh, Mr. Salerno, we, we, the, pol the police and the task force started saying, okay, let's do the Google Map thing again, and if you were at um, uh, the Sound Apartments, which is the quickest way to the, to the police station, the one at Honeywell, the one on Main Street, and, and they started doing all this, and um, the bottom line is they, they kind of, the police came in and put their foot down and said, it's not about location. We are not a fire department. It's not about proximity to the fire. We are on the street, we are patrolling roads, and we do not respond from the fire department. We go back to the, from the police department, we go back to the police department to bring prisoners. We go back to do reports. The public does need to come in to do fingerprints or file an accident report, um, but and they, they have to travel there. Is, is that that's where the location will be? It also might be the location for for a couple of different departments in town as we try to create municipal room. But we'll make sure those departments that we put there aren't um, high traffic citizen. You know, with a, you know, with a counter, and it won't be the town clerk won't we'll, we'll move down there. Let's put it that way. Um, we'll put departments down there that, um, you know, like engineering. Mark, right now we have our public works on the edge of town, and it's not a problem. Well, right. All I mean, it's almost on the board. Our roads get plowed, right? And our public works is literally on the border of Old Lime. Actually, it's, they have to go into Old Lime. They have to, to go into Old Lime to get out. Um, but but my road gets plowed and. and better than it probably ever has been. So you, that, that's a good point. That's a good are analogy. You, are you uh, implying that you get special treatment? <laughs> no, 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 better than no. You know, you just said better than, you know. <laughs> better than you. Yeah. Yeah. No, actually, yeah, no, that's I, I've not never. What no, no, no. I think we we're all. That's why we're pointing it out. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, one thing I think it's you. for your friends. <laughs> yeah, one thing I, I like what you said about, you know, moving forward a committee that brings in uh, a wider cross-section of the community. I think that's a great idea. You have a couple of citizens and then mm -hmm. you get that buy-in and people that, like I said, I don't need to be sold, but I did this for 29 years between town and state. So, um, you know, but someone else who needs to, that little extra information and so forth, I think that would be a great, great idea. If I may. Um, Sir. I, I, you know, the, you made a great point and one that I, I hadn't, whatever reason it didn't occur to me I a fire a, a police department is not a fire department right. and a response time and location is huge in a fire department but in a police department uh, where presumably everybody's out in the field uh, on patrol uh, it is not the same criticality uh, as as a fire department we have these apparatus that have to get someplace and they're always starting from the same point the other point is <clears throat> um, and it can't be overlooked uh, we have a building, and and I, I've heard some criticisms that, uh, uh, you know, that maybe it wasn't maintained properly. You, you, the buildings deteriorate, and if you have mortar that starts to deteriorate and, and the moisture is coming through, there's only so much you can do to, uh, uh, to prevent that. And uh, we have a police force that's operating in, in really unhealthy conditions, and I think that should be a very important consideration in, in what we do. If there's an opportunity, then we really have to uh, look at it and see if it makes sense. I'm not s totally sold either way yet, but um, I, I think we really have to be objective and do what's, do what's right and do what's best for the town. And these are all factors that need to be considered. And uh, you know, people that are sucking mold into their lungs every day, that, that is, uh, that's a terrible situation and one that needs to be addressed one way or another. <coughs> Just a couple, couple additional comments. Yeah. You know, yeah. the existing building, 
first of all, it's not size for the purpose right. that it needs to. Right. So to invest in that building, to, to re-roof it, to re-mechanical it, re-petition the walls, to, to recondition outside, parking, it, it, it's just not an investment that is worth making. The return on the investment wouldn't yield what, what the town needs, in my personal opinion. And regarding uh, you know, the, the timing, and you used the word transparency, and, and I fully understand you know, negotiations are not something that are done in the public. Uh, so this negotiations were done and this, this opportunity is here. People, some people are going to be for it, some people are going to be against it. True. But the number of public forums and the information that were provided, you know, I think, I think the town is being more than transparent uh, to, under, to provide the information to the taxpayers and to receive comment and respond to that comment from the taxpayers. Whether this gets approved or it doesn't get approved, I just can't understand how someone thinks well, this process is not being transparent. And, I, and I'd like to, to commend the efforts to date. And uh, the more we can communicate, receive input from the public, the better off we're going to be going forward. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dago. Yeah, we started, and you all, I, I think we announced that we told you this. Um, we started at $4 million for that building and uh, really kind of had to negotiate back and forth. Um, and you know we have comps, we have real estate comps. Um, um, Norm Peck and, and John Jensen work and live in this town, and um, you know Norm is fourth or fifth generation in this town. Uh, they helped me, you know, gratis, uh, come up with a proper comp for the for this building. And it, in the end, we said, listen, this is the bottom line. This is all we can spend. Um, this has to be proved by we're using taxpayer money here. This isn't. Um, we, we can only spend 2.775. This is what the, the building is worth. Um, and, um, you know, it was a long, drawn out. It, it took almost a year to, to get to the right number to agree to that. Um, and, you know, and whether there's a better location or whether there's a brand new building that is specifically designed for these functions, mm -hmm. uh, we can't afford to do that in the short term. Uh, we cannot afford to go spend. 10, 20, 30 million dollars on a, on a public safety building in, in today's day and age, in my personal opinion, uh, with, with the state situation. And, uh, but we also cannot af afford from a responsibility to, to the workers of, of our police force to stay in that building any longer than we, we have to. It's, it's deplorable and uh, it needs to be remedied as soon as we can. At, with the best option in front of us. And we'll have the opportunity to pass judgment on this option going forward. Your police are in a tough spot because they're trying to stay out of the political game. Um, there was a compelling, and I know you were there, uh, the wife of one of the police officers, and I don't know which one. I don't remember which one. You probably remember. I do. Uh, don't say it. I'm not. Uh, who said, does anyone else's husband work in, a, in, a con in conditions like mine has to? Um, and um, that, that's a good argument. But I'm, I'm keeping them away. I mean, they, they were pretty strong on the location thing. It's like, we want to show up. All 22 of us want to show up in uniform and say, this is not a problem. Location is not a problem. But um, it's not proper to do that. It's still still a public situation and a public vote and it will go through the appropriate appropriations and I don't want to pull the police into it. I think they've been pulled into, um, they were pulled into things in the past and I think it, it, it came back um, negatively toward them. So um, let's just do it this way. We'll use logic, we'll use common sense and rational thinking and hopefully build um, an argument why we need to do something. Um, I can't keep them in this building for many more months. Well, I um, think the police have a right to have a representative speak on their behalf. You do? I do. Um, okay. Well, to be honest, and, let's and I'm not, I can't discourage them. They can get up in uniform or in civilian clothes and, 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 and get up there and, and talk about it. I know. Um, well, let's put it this way. The, uh, the uh, EL Teachers Association president would definitely speak if it was something involving the schools, and no one would mm -hmm. think anything. Yeah, if that's their choice. Did they get up and talk about the, the elementary school? I yes. know. I know. Linda Johansson yeah, did speak. Yes. The yes. yes. Did, right? <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think that they should be. That they should feel that they do not have a voice. I'd like to know, Mr. Murphy, That's where was point. where was the first police department when you, you were a town officer? I was just. Kidding. <laughs> 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 
Started. So I did, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Any other comments? I, I think we'll. Um, uh, the, the only other issue, and we talked about this at our at the meeting of the uh, whole on the 26, is the talk about splitting the uh, the proposal into two and just going to town referendum with a 2.775 amount and a little bit more for the move of the police over, leave all the other departments where they are, and we'll go for more money at a later date. No. Uh, the feeling would be then. You know. <laughs> I had the feeling you'd say that. No. But I think I, I, I wanted to bring it up because I think that we, I think there's absolutely, some strong feelings about that. Absolutely not. The public needs to know what this project is going to cost mm -hmm. and the amount to be spent, period. And that that, the amount of money that we can do the job with. We can't start a project and then not know that we don't have the money to finish it and do it, pardon my language, half-assed. All right, I think that this, if you look at what other communities have done, Clinton, uh, yeah. Ledgard, Montville, Groton. these people Groton don't have any more money than we've got, and right. they're able to provide a decent, appropriate facility for their police force, a facility that operates 24-7, 365 days a year that we all count on. When we pick up the phone, we expect them to come and be there for us. So if the public doesn't want to support $6 million, it's a sorry, it's a sorry situation. Waterford uh, just, just spent $16 million on public works garage. Mm for the record. Hey Mark, um, I'd just like to add, when we, we spent three, two years ago, two or three years ago when we were looking at new schools, we had a hundred and one million dollar project. And, I, and this is kind of a response to people saying we're taking on too much debt. We all talked about that and we all said that's too much. Yeah. And it didn't guarantee that we were going to have seats for every student if we went to a hundred million dollars. If we went with a hundred million dollar project, we would have classrooms that would be over stuff we would be needing to build another school and it would have cost us 150 million. Or oh, one of those pods they talked yes. about. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. would have had issues. Pods. We took a yeah. step back. This board had a big part in that and said this is probably not going to work. We, they came up with a renovation of one school which was going to cost over 40 million for one school and we were going to shut one school down and probably have one school that we were hoping to build another time. That was going to cost close to 90 million dollars. And that would have been the same situation. We would have had one school and then we had another. And we said no. Mm -hmm. We said we have other things that we have to do in this town. And the police station, I specifically said it, we had the debt, we looked at the debt, and the police station was another issue. We wanted to take care of the schools, but we had future needs we needed to deal with. And the police station was on the, we've had this on our agenda for 20 years. And we went with a $37 million project. We saved this town a lot of money and it's working. I'm going to report later, I was just at the schools and the yeah. classrooms are pretty much brand new. Yeah. And we talked about it and, and those buildings, the bones were good. You said those, the bones were good and they were. We're fixing them. Yeah. We had some issues, but we're fixing them. Yeah. But we got that done for $37 million because we knew we had this police station coming. We're not, we're not blind to the future. We know what our needs were. Here we are. I think we look back. That was a good decision. That what we did with the schools and we got it for a really good value. Here's another good value we could provide. Because we could have been in 100 million and we could have been in another 15 for a police station we wanted to be new and just spend all the way. No, we could actually have a new, new renovated elementary schools and a police station for $43 million. That's unheard of. It's unheard of. That's true. So this, I, I, I want to hear more, but, but this in line with what we did fits in with 